Hello, everyone. We'll wait a moment for for some folks to join in. And as you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about surface springs. Let me just move my little step stool out of the way. My step stool so I can get it, because the camera is mounted to the ceiling, which is high. So, gotta get my little step stool. So, hi everyone uh, that's joining in. So, I have my little spray vestibule here today, and uh, we're gonna be doing some surface spraying. And I wanna show you how it reacts with different things, the cool stuff you can do with it. Hello! Uh, and just some really fun different things that I think will be really exciting. So let me grab my surface sprays really quick off of the shelf. I have been using them often, so I need to grab mine that we can use to demo with today. I might have some doubles, but that's okay. So what is a surface spray? That's probably uh, the number one question that we get all the time. Uh, the surface sprays are basically a, uh, the formulation, it's the same, very similar formulation to our inks. So we have surface inks, and if you guys are familiar with the surface inks, basically what the surface inks do is they are permanent on almost everything. But you can watercolor with them. You can do all sorts of really fun, different things with them. So let me move some of this stuff off of my desk that I was working with earlier. I should have moved it all off before, but it's been a little crazy around these parts lately. Lots of stuff happening, lots of new products, lots of fun things. So basically the surface sprays are a formulation that are very, very, very similar to our inks. Now I will preface that and say that you don't want to take one of the reinkers that we have uh, for our surface inks and try to put them in water. It will not work. <laughs> Believe me, it would have been much easier to do it that way and not create an entirely different formulation. But we did have to create an entirely different formulation to get these to work the way that I wanted them to. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you kind of how they work. So what I suggest is getting a little container like this. You can get it at Target. You can get it at Dollar Tree. Uh, just a little inexpensive container that you can use for spraying. You can see that I have used this one within an inch of its life for spraying. So I just want to show you kind of how these work. So a very important thing is, is if you get the, they are permanent. They are permanent. Um, the cool thing about purchasing the surface sprays right now, um, and while supplies last, and I promise you I have lots of, of free gifts at this point. So uh, if you do purchase the surface sprays right now, from now until probably a long time, because this is something that I want to include with all of the surface sprays that, you know, for at least the first, I'd say, couple of months, is a sample pack. So what does that mean? So you are going to receive, with your surface sprays, a sample pack of different materials that we suggest that you use with the surface sprays. And you, you can use the surface sprays on anything you want, obviously, uh, but these are some things that we think they react really cool with, so that's why we wanna give you a sample pack. So in the sample pack, you will receive a full-size jumbo media tag, and it will have listed on them what they are. So if you wanna get more of them, you will uh, be able to see what that is. So you'll get one jumbo media tag, you will get a white media tag that's just smaller. You can see how big this tag is in comparison to this one. And you will get a sheet of the gloss stock, okay? So I think these are very important for you to have just for the simple fact that uh, you can do really cool things with those items. So I decided that you needed to have them so you will get them with your orders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab just a piece of surface board. This is uh, our surface board that it's like a, a chipboard, kind of a loose chipboard. And I'm just gonna place it down here so that whenever I take this uh, out of the, the spraying vestibule, so to speak, that I'll have a place to put it on when I'm drying it. So what we're gonna do is we'll start, we'll start with the jumbo media tag. And I'm just gonna set it right inside there, okay? And let's use what colors? I'm in a springy mood, so let's start with some phone book. And you always wanna shake it up from side to side. There is a little shaking ball inside that's included. And we're just gonna add just a little bit of the phone book. Now let's do, how about a little bit of rouge? 
I think that'll be fun. So a little bit of rouge, and you just want to keep on, keep on shaking it up. The ball is in there. It just sometimes takes a little bit. Yes, it takes a little bit of time for that ball to start shaking up, but I promise it is in there. And now, oh, this is a brand new one. Let's not use the brand new one. Let's use this one. Um, so now I'm going to spray this one. And again, just use, you know, as much as you would like. You don't have to use a ton. Oops, and I got some overspray there. That's okay. Just got to use some squeak clean to wipe that up because it will be permanent there. <laughs> and then I'm going to use some wagon because that's a deep, dark, rich red. Okay, so now you'll see something happening almost immediately. And this is something that happens when you don't even have to, you don't have to do anything to make this happen. I want to add a little bit more film book, I think. Um, you'll see that it's starting to pill and starting to do some really, really cool stuff. So let me lift this out of the, the little, uh, little chamber of, of, of spray. And can you see what's happening before I even start drying it? This happens naturally with our sprays. I haven't added anything to this tag. I haven't done anything to make it do that. It did it all on its own. So now I'm going to start drying it. And by drying it, you're going to see a little bit more of that pilling and a little bit more of those craters show up. Yes, chamber of spray. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start drying it. And you'll see we will get some more of that cratering and some more of that really cool uh kind of a it's really really different i mean the sprays are so incredibly different so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to press this down here so that i can get a little bit better of uh, a grasp on it and it's going to take a moment to dry but it doesn't really i mean really doesn't take that it doesn't take too too long <laughs> it's it, it's just that i am impatient so you can you know dry it you know with your heat gun you can uh, wait for it to dry. It's completely up to you. I generally use my heat gun just simply because, again, I'm impatient. But now you'll be able to see here exactly what I mean. So look at how cool and how funky and fun that is. Okay? And it's dripping a little bit because I put a lot of surface spray on here, which is okay. That's a good thing. Use as much surface spray as you want. I'm just going to drag that across there. Use as much surface spray as you want, but look at how cool that turns out. Okay? So I'm going to set this one to the side, and now I'm going to do our smaller tag. So let me find a home for the ones that I want to dry, because I use, and I'll show you a couple of, uh, a quick example here. So this is, um, these are some tags that we did earlier, and you'll see they dry completely permanently. Like I'm going to, I'm going to take my finger with some wet some water and you'll see they don't move so these are two that i did previously and just i mean you guys i can't get over that and they're completely permanent i could dip this in water and it's not going anywhere okay and then this is a large tag that i did that i cut some stars into that again uh you know the sky's really the limit here with what you can do um and i put a little bit of rainbow foil behind that so you'll see that in a later project and then this is what it looks like on the gloss stock. So I, I did a little bit of a little bit of embossing on that one and a little bit. Yes, they do come out shiny. So let's go ahead and do the gloss stock real quick and then we'll do the small tag. So I'm going to put my gloss stock in there and our gloss stock, I want you guys to know, are very, very, it's very thick. You hear that? And you'll know that which side is the glossy side because there's one side that's very shiny and one side that's very dull, okay? So now let me grab my sprays and let's do some bright, let's do some blues here. Hello, Laurel. So I'm going to start with the Oz. So let's take a little bit of Oz and we'll just spray that up in the corner. Uh, let's do a little bit of phone book. We'll spray that over in this corner. And then let's do, uh, what other one are we going to do? Let's do some corn flour. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I made the cut, Laurel, from uh, from the, the crazy haircuts. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to use a little bit of rouge down here in the corner because really you can't go wrong. You really can't. I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong. So now I'm going to grab this out of our spray, uh, our chamber of sprays, and I almost dropped it. I should probably have a um, I should probably have a tweezer, but that's okay because my hands always get super messy, which is fine. And now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry this one. So again, this will dry completely on its own. 
You do not have to, you do not have to dry it. You don't have to dry it. You can, it'll dry completely on its own, but I just am impatient. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna, you know, do some drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of heat to it. And these are so addictive. Exactly, exactly. Everyone will use their heat tool. Um, the first paper that I worked on is the large media tag. The second paper that I'm working on here is our gloss stock. And again, I'm just placing this on here. And if you um, want to take, uh, you can take like a paper towel, you can take a wet wipe, and you can sop up some of the color. But you can see here, you know, we did some, remember the colors we did. We actually did four, uh, four or five colors. So, um, oh, good, Laurel. Perfect. You, I think you have surface sprays in there. So you can see it's, it's different every time. So it, depending on, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, whatever colors uh, you put on there and you did, I think we did four colors here, but you see they mix, they don't become muddy. So you can see, I mean, it's just every time it's, it's I think more and more stunning. So now let's go ahead and I could just spray these all day. I could literally spray these all day, <laughs> all day. So here is one of our white media tags and these come in a pack. The jumbo media tags are my absolute favorite. Um, so now let's talk this time. Let's do, uh, we'll do a little bit of phone book in the corner. Oh, look at that spray. My goodness. Um, we'll do a little bit of suede cause we haven't done that yet. The suede is, um, like a beautiful kind of brownish gold color. Um, and then let's do some Jurassic cause we haven't done Jurassic yet, which is a beautiful, beautiful green. And again, every time it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna grab this guy out of here, put him on my uh, little piece of surface board there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start drawing him. And you'll notice that right away, yeah, there's no mud. Yes, the little cratering is what happens. And it's based, it, it all happens because of the formulation of the sprays. And my favorite part, although I do not have an example of one here, um, they are completely permanent on ceramic. Oh, there you go, Laurel. I wasn't even, I was turned around looking for the, the um, turned around looking for my ceramic tile and you beat me to it. Yes, they are permanent on ceramic. Yes, you sure can. Just make sure it's heat set. Correct. No, you don't have to sprinkle any water to get this effect. It does it automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap that off and look at that one. Every time you get, and I believe it's called in ceramics, I think it's called Roku or Roku or Raku um, firing. And um, that's the way that it's, it comes out. But the, the then hand wash if you put under mug. You can, yeah. We've actually put, and Heather's bringing in my um, shadow box. So I'll show you this real quick so she can take it back. So this is my shadow box that we did when we first uh, launched the sprays. Um, and it looks like these are actually mixed up. Did something fall down? Mm -hmm. I'll have to fix these. Okay, so they're not in the right place. But regardless, those are the ceramic tiles. So um, this is a shadow box that sits on my shelf of them. And again, I'm going to have to fix them because mm -hmm. they're out of place. Um, but these are uh, the ceramic tiles. And they do not move. They do not shift. They are... Absolutely perfect every time. That's it, Raku, Raku fired pottery. <laughs> perfect, and I'll fix those later. Yeah. We might have to plug in a hot glue gun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is what they look like on the um, on the tiles. So now what we can do is I will show you just very quickly what they look on, like on just regular everyday paper. So regular everyday paper, um, they are going to have the same, uh, they're gonna have the same look and feel of, um, let me grab let me grab you grab some of our white cardstock so they are going to do different things on different papers so it's all going to depend on what you're doing with the paper so i'm going to grab a little bit of oz here and let me grab a little bit of the uh this is the phone book um how about a little bit of suede 
and maybe a little bit of corn flour just here in the corner here. And you'll see how absolutely saturated your paper becomes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna heat set this. There are eight colors currently. But once you heat set this, you can see you just get beautiful, beautiful saturation of color. Yep, there are eight, okay? So you can do this any, any way you would like. So you can, you can see that you can saturate the paper, but the thing that I am, um, the thing that I'm most excited about, and I will show you this on, uh, let's do it on this piece of surface board here. So you may have had um, different sprays in the past. And the problem with sprays that we've had in the past, and I don't believe I have any of my old sprays anywhere around here, but that's, that's okay, because they, um, they, be, they were a spray I did previously. Um, nope, not those ones. Those have the correct, I don't know where they are. Hold on, let me try to go into my, oh, nope, those aren't sprays. Hold on, guys. I think I know where they are. I know they're in one of these bins. Oh, here we go. So this is a spray. Um, this is just a standard spray that you would see out there on the market. I am not going to show you whose spray it is. But you'll see when I spray this, see how there's a haloing that happens? Do you see that? Actually, let me, hold on. Let me get another white piece of paper so I can demo this correctly. And I'm hiding whose spray this is, because <laughs> I, I don't want you to know whose spray this is. But you'll see here that if I spray it, do you see how that's spraying? Do you see that? What the heck is that? Do you see how that's spraying? What, what, what is that? I don't know. But do you see how that's spraying? Because this is how I want to show you a compare and contrast. So do you see, do you see how that's spraying? Okay. So now let me show you how mine spray. So we have a special nozzle that's on ours. And the way ours spray is, so let me grab, just to be fair, I'll grab the same color. Do you see that spray? You guys, I'll do it again. But do you see that spray? Perfect circle every time. And it is, it's the way that we've done the, the way that we've done the actual nozzle so that every time you get a perfect spray without a halo. The halo was the biggest problem that I had and I could do this all day long. Perfect spray every time. Perfect spray every time, okay? And look how cool that would be for a background. Like what, fireworks or something? But look at how cool, and this is just regular everyday paper. So this is just regular everyday paper. Hi, Kathy, <laughs> regular everyday paper. So now I'm gonna show you again. Let me turn this one over and we'll, we'll use, um, I have never cleaned the sprayer, never. You can, if you'd like to, but I have never cleaned the sprayers and we've been using them since July, <laughs> last July, <coughs> since last July. So let me show you again, this one, that I'm not gonna tell you whose who spray this is. Look at that. What is that? I mean, and this is, this is all the sprays that I have from this manufacturer. I mean, if you're into this type of splotchy kind of spraying, that's fine, by all means, you know, spray on, girlfriend. But the, the reason that I wanted and, and worked so hard on our nozzle is so that every time you wouldn't get that haloing. So here's Jurassic, perfect spray. Here is Bone Book, perfect spray. Here is, and again, it's not different for each one. It's this patented uh, nozzle that we have that gives you a perfect round spray every single time. And I wanted to do all the colors. I don't know if I'll have time to do all of them, but I wanted you to be able to see that it's not a one trick pony. It's not just one spray that does this, it's all of the sprays. So look at how pretty those are. Well, let's do all the colors now that we're on it. So what one did I miss? I missed Sidewalk. Rouge. And no, Rouge is right there. Oh, and Suede. So every time you get that perfect spray. And there you go. Those are all eight colors. And we picked colors that are within the spectrum um, of the rainbow. So you would have a little bit of every color. And look at how cool. Every time. Can you make an awesome opaque? Um, I will say to check back with me in about a month. Because we are working on it. We are working on it. Yes, you get, a, yeah, no cookie cutter patterns. It's different every single time. 
and you can spray it through stencils, you can spray, I mean, you can do so many things. And you can see how it does, I mean, it even looks so cool on paper. I mean, imagine what you could do uh, with this. So remember, this is this was the other spray, and look at how that sprays. Nope, no, no, no. And these. this is how our spray, in a perfect circle with no haloing every time, okay? So I'm gonna head off of here, and I am going to head over to Periscope. So if you guys, um, if I spray on tile, am I just, yep, that's all you're doing. You can heat set it with your heat gun. You just wanna make sure that you are um, double checking it and making sure that it's completely heat set. But we actually got a, um, it will not spray, it will not stain stencils as long as you take it off uh, quickly, if that makes sense. Um, I always have another little vestibule, as I'm calling it, that has water in it. So I'll drop it in there, but I can show you real quick um, with one of our stencils. Let's see, we'll use the, hmm, I'm gonna use the, uh, the one that is like the, this one's called Downpour, I couldn't think of the name. So let's go ahead and use this, and we might have some overspray, but that's okay, because I'm not, yes, I usually get mine stained too, believe me. So I'm just gonna place this down, this is called Downpour, it's one of my favorite stencils that we have, and I'm gonna take Oz as the first one, and you want to get messy, get messy, get as messy as you can. Then I'm going to use a little bit of corn flour and we're just going to tap it with the corn flour because then you'll get just like kind of like that airbrush look. And then I'm going to lift this off and look at how cool that is underneath of there. And then you can actually take this, I'll move this piece of paper out of the way, take this guy, place it on top of here. Smush it down a little bit, press it, press it, press it, press it. It's gonna get a little messy, but that's okay. Lift it up, and then you'll have a really cool print underneath. Because remember, remember my friends, this is my favorite part about these, and I haven't even talked about this yet, but I'm gonna talk about it real quick right now before I go on to my next live for the day. I'm doing three lives today, if you guys can, if you guys can believe it. Three lives. Okay, so let me grab, oh, here they are, right here. I'm like looking all over the place like a crazy person. So the next best thing, and I'm wondering if I have any that have water in them. Uh, perfect, thank you. And then do I have a palette anywhere over here? Okay, so the next best thing about these is you know I've told you all the great things, they're permanent, they um, have a great, they, they don't have the halo, they work very, very well, but what I didn't mention to you guys yet is that you can actually watercolor with them. So this is a triple threat, just like uh, most of my other products. I'm just gonna pour just a teensy little bit. Oh, teensy, teensy, teensy little bit. And now I'm gonna grab another tag here. Whoops, whoops, I almost just revealed this top secret spray that I didn't want you guys to know whose it is. So you're just gonna put a little bit of the spray in your palette. I'm gonna grab a water brush. I'm gonna pick up some of this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna watercolor with it. And look at how beautifully this watercolors, okay? But the best part of this is, once you're done watercoloring with it and it dries, it's completely permanent. Can you believe it? It is completely permanent once you're done. But you need so little of it, I mean so little of it, whenever you are watercoloring. But look at how beautifully that watercolors. This is Oz. It's everybody's favorite color, period. The, no, I will. I'm not showing it because it was. It was. It was. Uh, I won't say anything. But it just. I'll just say that it's. It's one that uh, I used as an example to uh, formulate what ours. What ours do now. So yeah. So you can take your tags. Let me grab. Um, hmm. Let me grab. Oh well, this is another one. Cool one too. So this is. So now, you know, you were never able to watercolor on glossy paper before because you wouldn't, want, you wouldn't be able to do this with alcohol ink because alcohol ink and water don't mix. Look at this. Look at how cool this is. And I'm just going to go in, and this is, again, just a technique you can do. I'm going to go and I'm just adding the color, dragging it out, getting some really cool bubbles. And then we'll go ahead and let me clean this brush out a little bit and you'll see it's water soluble which is very weird it's very weird it does dry and stay put it sure does yes the oh yeah i should have said that the water brush 
Um, the water brush is actually ours as well. Yep, it's just like our inks. Our inks will dry and stay put as soon as they're dry. And I'm just going to heat set this. Yeah, we have three different sizes. I'm just making sure that size dries. So now, now we're live, so I can't lie to you, right? I can't lie to you. So this part down here is what is dry. That was watercolored, everyone. This was watercolored. It is, I mean, I'm pushing with everything I've got. And it's not coming off. You can layer. Yeah, you can layer. You can add other pieces. So, like, literally, if I wanted to take... So let's say I wanted to take some rouge now. Let's say I want to take some rouge. Let's toss a little, oh, see I'm using way too much. You don't need as nearly as much as I'm using. And then you can grab some of the rouge and you can go right on top. Hello UK. Hello UK. Go right on top and this is a, you know, very, very, a very deep color. But you, you'll notice here that it's not, it's not turning purple. It's literally just all on its own. It's still, it's still the rouge color. Okay, and then we can dry this. And again, this is a this is a dream, I think, for most mixed media artists because look, it didn't blend. It just layered over top. So, so much you can do. So much you can do. Um, so many cool things that you can do. Um, again, these are the ones that we did today. Let me lay them out real quick because Rob is sending me text messages asking if I want Starbucks, and I do. So let me show you here uh, the ones that we just did just now. If you want to follow me over onto Periscope, I will be demoing again. But there you go. So grab your surface sprays while you can, while we still have them in stock. And uh, you will get your free gift whenever um, you will get your free gift with your purchase. And I hope to see all of you guys very soon. You will see a full professional video on these sprays coming to my channel very soon. I just love being live with you guys and answering questions and chatting and talking. But I will talk to all of you very, very soon. And remember to always create your own ending. Goodbye, my friends.